only the target of such assaults. Upon first glance, this ignores the constant reality of rape and sexual assault in the lives of many transgressive femininities. Personally, I've been correctively raped twice for being femme. Once by a doctor when I was 17 after coming out on my intake forms, and the second time during my time working at a bar in Newark. According to a study by Karen Levahot, PhD, women who identify as femme or feminine have a, uh, and have a more feminine appearance report more adult sexual assaults than women in the study who identified as butch. That's not even to speak of the harassment that I experience every day on the street. Not just on the street, everywhere I go. It's frequently terrifying and also leads, leads to more terrifying things. Of course, omnipresent harassment is afforded to masculine of center folks as well. Because in both cases, our, the harassers are targeting our gender presentation. For real, they are. They truly hate us both for the same reason. Our harassers are deeply invested in the control and ownership of bodies that they perceive as women. They want to decide who gets to be included in that category and what that identity means. It is not a compliment when I'm catcalled, grabbed, pushed, smacked, and groped on the streets. It is an insult, and it is certainly not a privilege. Then there's that weird concept of passing privilege that I don't even think works for, the, for sexual identity in the way that it does for race, but it's so frequently employed that way. Racial groups have phenotypical markers that differentiate their skin and hair and body features from that of a privileged race. Being gay or queer looks different in every corner of the country and every corner of the world. The idea of cisgender femmes passing for straight and receiving straight privilege ignores the fact that to patriarchy inside every lesbian lies a straight woman. Straight people don't see anything but straight. Even if very masculine and female identified folks are constantly read as gay by heterosexuals, does that necessarily make not experiencing that a privilege? Passing is a privilege when you pass into a group that has privilege. Women is not an inherently privileged category at all, nor is feminine. Femininity, queer and straight alike, is viewed as frivolous and shallow, stupid and excessive. Most importantly, it is taken much less seriously than masculinity. Moreover, regarding feminists as privileged ignores the existence of femmes who are trans women, andro femmes, kikis, and all of those who may simultaneously be femme and not able to pass for straight or even pass as feminine. It forgets us femmes who try and fail and try and fail to be seen as authentically feminine. We femmes with tapers and Caesars lined up, we femmes who are six foot fours in heels and rocking a bitch, bitch and limp that people frequently comment on, yet rarely stare at. We femmes who sit gap-legged in flannel, waiting for folks to stop telling them to be more feminine when we are trying as hard as we fucking can. In her interview with Elixir.com, Brown Girl Project founder Trins Messiah writes that femme privilege is a matter of perspective. A femme-identified woman has to negotiate always has to negotiate always safe spaces to come out over and over again. Can you imagine the anxiety of negotiating safe spaces constantly? Central to femme invisibility, which should be called femme erasure in my opinion, is the allegation that femmes are not gay looking. Okay, then who is and why? Who gets the privilege to set the tone of our conversation of what it means to be look queer or gay? Certainly not femmes, or we've at least included ourselves. There is the problem of looking straight and needing to access queer and gay safe spaces and being questioned uncomfortably, of spending time scrimping and saving to dress up for the bank bar and pay the cover just to have everyone treat you like a fag hag, of being out for almost a decade and being treated like an interloper until someone sees you with a stud they know, of being made to find people to vouch for your dictum, of having to come out every day to everyone, often several times to the same people because apparently femmes are not experts on their own lives. So in short, don't come at me with that shit. <laughs> Quit relegating femininity to the back burners of queerness because of a faulty generalization. Check your own association with feminists with excess and shallowness and stupidity. Learn how to see fems and stop blaming us for our own erasure. Yes.